A psychologist says now is the time to have conversations with students to help discuss safety concerns they might have. Valina Jones spoke to some local students in the Madison District to find out how they feel. Valina? Well, while students say they feel pretty safe on campus, they are on alert after the mass school shooting in Florida and recent safety threats happening in their own district. It kind of like stresses me out a bit. Just over a week after the Parkland, Florida shooting, safety is top of mind for students. It probably scares everybody here, but really with the security that we have, I think we feel much safer. Memorial High School students Jordan Smith and Keyshawn Webster are confident in their school's security measures. But no, with a fight happening just this week on campus, incidents can quickly escalate. It's always in the back of my head. You never know what might happen. Um, one little fight could turn into a big brawl, which could lead to guns, and you never know what could happen. This month, multiple fights between students and unfounded threats made on social media have occurred at schools across the district, including a student who was arrested after bringing a loaded gun to La Follette High School this week. When there was a big crowd, I would always try to go see what was going on, just in case it was one of my friends or something. But like now, uh, if there's a big crowd, I'd try to find like the nearest security guard, the nearest teacher, just to make sure I'm safe. It's raising anxiety for the kids, the teenagers, and also families um, and staff about really the question being, am I safe? Regardless if threats are credible, psychologist Kathleen Hipke says the effects can cause students to have anxiety, restlessness, or create trouble concentrating at school. She suggests adults discuss ways to make them feel safe. Get a sense of what their perceptions are. Um, make space for questions correct misconceptions um, and again when possible bring that conversation back to sort of what can you do to feel safer a conversation she says should continue past the headlines we don't want any of our young people to be carrying around these fears and anxieties by themselves and to sort of feel stranded with them now, while the Madison School District has dealt with a number of security concerns over the last two weeks, they are not alone. Schools in Baraboo, Beloit, Orfordville, Verona, and Waterloo have all investigated threats since the Florida shooting. Belina Jones in studio with us tonight. Belina, thank you.